Hello, happy Monday, magnificent Monday to all of my one, two, threes. Thank you so much for being here on my channel with me. I appreciate you all. Thank you to everyone who showed up for the lives on both channels, on this channel and my Star Spot channel and the people who showed up for my members who showed up for the live for on my member side. I appreciate you all so much. I be putting in so much work as a content creator and I just appreciate you all supporting me and showing up and giving me that positive feedback and showing me love. It really do help my channel grow and i tell you all i am so grateful for you guys you know just the love that you give it means the world to me i just want to let you know that that it really do make me happy and be happy 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 <laughs> all right so we're going to get into a general reading for the collective sign of all of my pisces for this monday see what comes out for you for you all I need y'all to hit that like, share, and subscribe button. Please hit that like, hit that like, hit that like, hit that like button. Um, make sure you subscribe, share the video, share the video, share the videos. We're going to see what comes out for my Pisces. Okay, cross watchers, you're always welcome here on this channel. You may have Pisces in your significant placement. It could be your rising, your moon, maybe your north node, Mercury. It could be your Venus, doesn't matter. You know... Just shuffling the cards real good on camera for you amazing people. So you can see the authenticity of the reading. First card out from a Pisces is a Pisces Cancer Scorpio card. So water signs are leading. Okay, so you're getting some sort of good news, some sort of new beginning for your relationships or some sort of love life. Some sort of joy is coming in your life. Um, this could be news of a pregnancy, some sort of fertility situation that is improving in your life. This also may have something to do with celebrations. Maybe you're going to some sort of event, a party, socializing a lot. Um, but it's some sort of new upsurge in positivity, some sort of new upsurge in feelings. So let's see what else is coming out for my Pisces. What else is coming out for the Pisces? Okay. Pisces energy, definitely. So it says something about love, comfort, kindness, intuition, a good idea. Hold on, y'all. Let me get let me get my glasses because I'm trying to tell you all. Um, <clears throat> some days my eyesight be on point and some days it be acting fun. Okay. Love, comfort, kindness, intuition, a good idea, a sensitive, thoughtful, introverted, cooperative, quiet, dreamy, imaginative, um, psychic, emotional, or dependent youth, someone interested in learning about emotional issues. Okay. And then... Two of Swords, stalemate, truth, sitting on the fence, crossroad, difficult decisions, painful choices, stressful decisions, opposition, facing your fears, being torn between two relationships, divided loyalty. And I just need one more card. Then we're going to start clarifying and seeing what those cards, what is this talking about? Okay. So the high priest is, and it came out in reverse. It says misuse of intuition, acting on bias or prejudiceness, manipulativeness, um, lack of emotional control. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, again, Pisces. So Pisces, this is definitely your reading. You're coming out very strong. Um, it says, okay, at the bottom of the deck is the moon card, intuition, illusion, dreams, vagueness, instability, deception, anxiety, fear, misconception, subconscious, insecurity, past conditioning, effects, present behavior. Things are not what they seem. So there's an area of your life, Pisces, where you're getting some good news. Things are going amazing for you. You're learning a lot. You know, this is, I feel like you're stepping into new territory in some ways, but there is some sort of apprehensive be hit, um, behavior or energy. Energy here with you so because it, it looks like you're on the fence about something you're trying to see if something is fair and balanced are you being told the truth are you being treated fairly so for some of you all I kind of feel like this is past energy here especially with this moon card in the past you've had to deal with some shady type people right so you've had to deal with people who were not being forthcoming with information or they had a hidden agenda so to 
speak, right? So I kind of feel like you never forgot how that made you feel when you took when you felt taken advantage of or just people not being forthcoming with information up front and you kind of having to and it kind of sometimes put you in a bad situation where you had to figure your way out of things. So maybe you feel like people kind of saw you as naive. Maybe they had the upper hand cuz in certain situations cuz they had more knowledge. They were more knowledgeable about certain things. So you could have gone to them for um, advice on something only to feel like you were taken advantage of. So I do feel like when new opportunities come around, you're happy about them. You want to learn as much as you want to learn about them, but you don't want to be taken advantage of. So sometimes you can be apprehensive about connecting with something or with people. You're on the fence about it. You're at some sort of crossroad needing to make difficult decisions, not letting all, not always letting See how it says misuse of intuition, acting on bias or prejudice or manipulativeness, lack of emotional control. So I do feel like in the past you did something, you made decisions based on emotions. You know what I mean? Opposed to logic. So I do feel like that could have been some of the reasons why you were put in some sort of bad situations. You were emotionally involved. You use your emotions to make a decision. And as a Pisces, you're, you feel a lot. You know, you're that water sign. You're a mutable sign. You know, you can adapt to certain situations, but certain situations you feel like you shouldn't have to adapt to. You don't want to have to adapt to um, misuse of your intuition. So maybe you you sort of um, made a wrong judgment in the past and it's kind of still lingering in your energy for it to be coming out is still lingering in your energy. So I feel like I'm going to be honest with you. So perfect example, perfect example. And I'm thank you, spirit, for letting me um, remember that one. So I posted something yesterday on the community board, right? And usually if somebody, if I post something positive and somebody brings something negative in the comment section, I usually delete it because I'm like, look, look, you just, you, you're kind of messing up the energy here. You know, we're trying to keep things on a high note positivity and here you come messing up the energy. And so, but I kind of, I left some comments up there because I wanted to bring something to you all's attention. There are going to be times in your life. I don't care how highly how high your energy is, all the good news, you're getting uh, uh, outpouring of support. You're getting a lot of positive feedback. People who are supporting you, they agree with what you're saying. Um, they're, they're vibrating in a very good energy. You know, they're trying to, uh, all of you all are trying to uh, have these uh, beautiful, powerful moments in your life, uh, build good memories and things like that, right? You're always going to have those people who have to look at the glass is half empty. You know, everything, I mean, I don't care what is going on that's positive. They have to point out the negative. So I do feel like you may have been, not only were you around people like that at one time in your life, no matter when, like when good things, which what happened with you, you know, whether it was your graduation, maybe it was um, the birth of your child. Maybe it was um, something that was happy, should have been a very happy celebrated event. It was always turned into something negative to make you feel bad, feel shame, feel insecure in something. So I feel like you kind of, and this could have even been growing up. Maybe you were accomplishing something in school and you didn't get the support you needed from your family members or something. Maybe you were, so you kind of, kind of, maybe you kind of gave up on things like, okay, no matter how good I do, I'm not going to get the support. So maybe you kind of gave up on things, right? And I feel like you had to find your footing somewhere in this life, but that feeling never quite left you. So it's always this apprehensive energy on the fence about, should I really celebrate these happy times? I can't get too happy because you know I, something bad may happen if I get too happy, you know, and I feel like, no, live in the freaking moment. Let the negative nannies, the negative Nancys and Neds of the world, and excuse me if your name is Nancy or Ned, but... <laughs> Let those people of the world be who they are. Enjoy these happy moments when they come to you. Don't let somebody be that down, that Debbie Downer in the room. You know, yes, you've made mistakes in the past. Yes, you times you've misused your intuition. You know, you went too much on the emotional side instead of the logical side. You know, things weren't really balanced out like with this Libra energy. You didn't really use your third eye, or maybe you didn't pay attention to the red flags that was there or something. You know, but take that as a lesson learned. Don't use that as a, 
you know, uh, like I said, like, I don't want you to be afraid to be completely happy when joyful moments happen just because other people didn't celebrate joyful moments in your life. Okay. Maybe they were, they can't even accept your happiness. Maybe they can't accept your good news. Okay. There may be underlining jealousy there. Maybe their life isn't going so well. You know what I mean? Or maybe they're upset about how you're getting somewhere or achieving something, but that's not your problem. That is their problem to deal with. So I do feel like you need to get in the energy of of being happy and accepting these blessings and not worrying about, oh, is something negative going to happen down the road? We live as long as you're living good and bad is going to be in your life, right? So let's see what else is coming. I want to clarify this Ace of Cups and see what this good news is. A Scorpio or a Cancer may be significant as well, or maybe you have significant Scorpio or Cancer placement. Yeah, because I feel like in the past, things were held from you. You, deal, you had to come across some real shady people until you sort of matured in this life, you know? Yeah, two of swords. So whatever the good news is, I kind of feel like it's not supposed to be revealed. Whatever it is, I don't know what this is in your life. Some good news is coming, but it's not supposed to be revealed. Right now it's blocked. Spirit does not want me to reveal it. Okay, whatever that is. So it may even because I kind of feel like you have people waiting for you to be in a good in a good energy for them to come and say something negative. You know what I mean? Like, <clears throat> like for instance, in one of my videos, someone wrote, I can't deal with terror no more. I'm leaving. Why do you need to make an announcement that you're leaving? Like. It back when I used to watch tarot before I started doing tarot, because I don't really watch it anymore simply because it's like overkill. Um, but back when I used to watch, I never made no, no grand exit. Like I was this overly important person and everybody in the comment section needed to know I was leaving. I just stop watching it. You know what I mean? So that's what I'm saying. It's like someone is waiting for good things to happen to you so they can make this, you know, this kerfuckle or kerfuffle, whatever you call it, <laughs> um, you know, around you to try to bring the good mood down. So that's why spirit does not want you to reveal some sort of happy event or happy moment. Oh my goodness. Look at this. The world card of major arcana is coming out. So I do feel like you're going to be learning something. Some of the, some of you all, this is about completing a chapter in your life, right? And completely completing And Some of you all are just completing reading a book. Maybe you have some books you've been like, oh, I've been wanting to read this book and I need to get through this book. So I feel like you may be, you know, some of you all may be completing a book. Um, Some of you all also, some of you all may be writing something where you're completing that as well. So you're finishing up something in your life and you're learning things along the way, right? And this is also a situation where some of you all may be traveling and you're learning about different cultures, things you didn't know before. Um, this could even be within your, so if you're in the United States of America, maybe you're going to different towns, different cities, something like that, different states, and you're learning a little more about the United States of America. If you're going to a different country, or you're in a different country, you may be traveling to different towns, cities, state villages in that country, just so you can get some sort of, you know, um, knowledge of the culture and how other people live. I do feel like you're going to be learning something and this is going to bring, it's going to be done with a lot of love. It's going to be, um, it's going to enlighten you in some way. It's going to, some of you all are even learning other languages. Okay. So let's see. Justice card, a Libra. Oh, okay. A Libra may be significant here because the justice card came out first and then you have the lover's card in reverse. Yeah. So, okay. This makes so much sense to me and I hope you all can see how it's coming out. So you have the justice card here and you have Libra. Both of these are Libra energy. A Libra may be significant. You may have a Libra moon rising, uh, North node. You may have a Libra Venus, um, something like that. But I do feel like with this energy here, that whatever was off balance, 
fence, whatever you are starting to be on the fence about, you're going to see something come into balance. And it's because you have more control over situations, what you observe, what you let people, you know, how you let them absorb your energy or what energy you put out than what you have been letting yourself believe, right? So there is going to be some sort of karmic balance coming in this situation, possibly even something legally uh, um, coming into balance because it's like you had to make a decision about who you're sharing good times with, who you are sharing happy moments with, you know, do you want to share what you've learned or do you kind of want to keep something to yourself and then only share bits and pieces with it? Some of this has a lot to do with you allowing people to be in your energy that sort of, you don't, you can't even really, it's like you, it's like you're torn between connections that you want certain people. This could even be your family or people who you viewed as family or people in your community that you feel like you should have, that should have accepted you or something. So it's like you're torn between being loyal to yourself and loyal to people who may have made you feel off balanced at times. I just kind of feel like somebody wants to keep bringing up when you made the wrong decision here. It, this could be in love, you know, this could be in situations because you have the lover's card in reverse. This may even be an ex who constantly wants to, every time they hear about something positive happening in your life, here they go. And that could be somebody like the people who are leaving negative comments in my comment section. It could literally be somebody who know me, but they are not putting their real name out there. They're hiding behind the name a different name on the internet and then you know seeking my channel out and then putting negative comments in the comment section very low vibrational right so at first I was like you know I should delete that because if they don't have enough confidence or backbone to really put their real name out there and then just say how they feel I can respect a person if you disagree with me or something that's fine you know you're human I'm human we could disagree that's fine but when it's done in a distasteful way and you're insulting people in the comment section or you're insulting me, but you're hiding your real name, that's kind of cowardly, right? So in this situation here, Pisces, I see this may even be somebody who you were involved with in the past, or this could have been a so-called friend or just somebody you thought at one time you all had a lot of love for, but I do feel like somebody constantly wants to remind you of how you used your intuition the wrong way, you know, how you did not, um, you know, you lacked emotional control or something. So let those Debbie Downers kind of move on. We're going to get a little deeper into what this reading means. We're going to... Um, See what comes out. Oh, you have the page of wands here. Yeah, so whatever this is, you're going to put a lot of passion behind some sort of good news or good start. You may have a number of options to choose from too, because this page of wands can speak of like taking a new journey and looking at what you have and what you want to invest in. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Getting confirmation about what you want to invest in. What direction you want to move in? Yeah, I said what direction you want to move. And I told you some of you all will be traveling mm -hmm. and you're going to be learning something new about other states, countries or something. Some of you all will be learning another language. You'll be completing writing a book. Maybe some of you all are even writing a book in another language or something like that. So you may be bilingual, trilingual. You may speak a number of languages. Um, I do feel like times in the past when you made the wrong decision, it caused your life to be harder. You had, even though you found a way to get through certain things, but this also speaks of someone who almost feels like they have to constantly battle just to have new re new um uh, starts or fresh starts or something. It's like being in that energy where you have to, where you're constantly having to be resilient, you know? And then we have this seven of cups here. So I do feel like there was a lot of procrastination, confusion, and maybe you even made the wrong decision sometimes due to addictions, you know? So this is what I feel like someone who's kind of bitter, maybe they're bitter that the friendship didn't work out. Maybe they're bitter that the relationship didn't work out. Maybe they're bitter that you don't deal with them. You know what I mean? But if, if they're keep, if they're constantly trying to remind you of negative decisions that you've made in the past, you didn't forget them. You had, you were the one who had to work through them and improve yourself. So they don't need to keep bringing up your past when they have their 
your own to work with. But I do feel like this came from you um, maybe having too many options available and you're being naive or not sure. Maybe you weren't sure of how to trust your intuition at times. Um, Cause I feel like the truth sometimes was staring you in your face, like the best option, but you still chose the wrong option. And it could have been based on emotions instead of logic. Okay. So we're going to go ahead. These two cards fell out too. And I kind of feel like they are significant. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to sit these over here and see where it comes in. You have the Knight of Swords and you have the Seven of Swords. So this is like someone trying to sneakily. They, they, I say sneakily. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to stick with that word, okay? All right. Um, this is somebody who's trying to be sneaky. And trying to hurry up and change other people's mind about you, strategizing, you know, um, doing something in a very quick but strategic way, you know, trying to get the upper hand in a situation pertaining to your happiness. And this is why spirit does not want something to be revealed about some good news pertaining to you. Now, for it to come out on my channel, that means there are literally people who watch my channel <clears throat> just to spy on Pisces to see how they could try to sabotage something, you know what I mean, which is really unfortunate because they could be spending their time doing something a lot more productive. Uh, but anyway, Let's see. At the bottom of the deck, you have the higher font here. This is Taurus energy here. So this is like that energy of you getting the key knowledge, key information, and um, having some sort of doors open for you. Also, this could speak of marriage. The higher font could speak of marriage. It could speak of a judge. It could speak of some some, some high ranking official, um, someone who can teach you something or can give you knowledge. You're learning something from this one. It could speak of an instructor or professor, a teacher or something. Thing. So maybe in the past, you wanted to have knowledge, you went to someone who was very knowledgeable, and maybe they kind of used that to their advantage. That could have been very frustrating for you. Where Remember I said you went to someone who had, they knew something, they knew more about a situation than you knew. So you kind of trusted them, you know, emotionally, maybe you were connected to them and you trusted them. And that it, I feel like that's the reason why you're so apprehensive about celebrating happy moments now, or even revealing blessings that come in your life. Because when you trusted people, your trust was used against you in some way. Why is this page of wands here? And this could have even come, you know, that that betrayal could have come from somebody, some sort of um, person who is very knowledgeable or um, they're sort of like a master in whatever field they're in. You know, you went to them thinking that they would help you and it just did not work out. Let me see. Why is this page of wands here? Yeah. So you're continuously working on something. I do feel like for some of you all. <clears throat> you may be investing into learning a number of things at the same time. And I do feel like this is going to pay off. Maybe you're reading a number of books. Maybe you're taking a number of courses. Maybe you are investing into um, a number of businesses. But I do feel like something is going to pay off. The Eight of Pentacles can speak of you getting some sort of like a scholarship or you may be getting some sort of grant. You may be getting some sort of payout, but it's due to you mastering something, you putting in the effort and working long and hard. Some of you all are just diligently um, going after something like nonstop. You're not letting anything distract you. You may be putting a lot of long hours and time into something in your life. Okay. And it looked like it is going to pay off in a good way for you. Okay. Why is this two of wands here? You seem to be at a crossroads on what decisions you should make. Maybe you're looking at what, where you want to travel, um, what languages you want to learn, what you should be passionate about, what will improve your, what will, where you are now and what will improve your situation in the future. What actions, if you take those actions now, if you put something into action now, how will it uh, direct your pathway or how will it direct your feet on a pathway or, you know, where will you end up? You know, what is the goal here? So I feel like you're putting, you're trusting your intuition with something now that you're learning that's new. Why is this two of wands here? Mm. 
Ten of Pentacles. Nice. Whatever it is, it's a it's a amazing investment. You're going from the Eight of Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles and that World card. Beautiful. Nice. So whatever decision you're making, you are making the right decision now. I feel like what you went through in the past, you went through dark nights of the soul because of your emotions. And that could have made you sort of retract a lot or even second guess yourself, Pisces. But I do feel like you need to start trusting yourself more. The more you went through bad moments, the more you learned, whether you realize it or not, it increased your wisdom. So you don't kick yourself so much and please don't let the Debbie Downers get to you. People I don't care how positive things are going in your life. You know, those people who just only want to be in your business so they can try to, you know, bring the energy of the, oh, oh, you're being celebrated. People speaking highly of you. Let me find, let me reveal something negative. You know, just miserable is all get out. I mean, damn, go take a spiritual bath. <laughs> You know, wash that dirty spirit off of you. Gosh, I mean, damn. <laughs> the Ace of Cups. Yeah, someone, I'm going to tell you something, Pisces. You got the Ace of Cups in reverse right here. This is someone who they're really trying to make you unhappy by any means necessary. They want you to constantly be in the energy of having to be resilient. This is the reason why spirit does not want some sort of happy event event revealed. This is the reason why. So watch who you share your happy moments with, you know, pay attention to the people when you tell them good news they is a pause, you know, and they got to almost like fix their face like they're happy for you. Or they start pointing out, but this is, but, 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 but they can't even truly celebrate your awards or your winnings in this life because their spirit isn't happy for you. Deep down inside, they're not, you know, so watch who you share stuff with. Some of you all are passing the bar. Some of you all are, are doing something where um, you're signing contracts and it's working out well for you or somebody. There's something going on that you work really hard at. And I feel like you need to be very selective and use discernment when you are sharing these happy moments, who you want in your circle, with, when you, when you, who you share these happy moments with. Because as some someone who is, I don't know, you know, they could be hidden behind the scenes, especially with that moon car showing up there. It could be another Pisces. It could be a Taurus. It could be um, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Libra, Scorpio, Aquarius, Gemini. Uh, let me see who else. Yeah, I see a number of zodiac signs out here. That's ridiculous, though. So just keep people away from you that have shown you that they're not happy for you yet. Something that you did in the past got you in a bad situation. And I feel like this is you almost felt trapped by your own decisions. You know, you had you made some bad choices. This could have been due to addictions. It kept you in your head. You kept trying to figure out why something you kept going through these dark nights of the soul where you really didn't see the forest through the trees. You kind of maybe you even felt like you were given some sort of bad advice, you know, or something like that. But I do feel like that was a learning experience for you. And some, but somebody want to keep bringing it up. You have the hermit car here mm, and the devil car here. Yes. Yeah, so again, be very careful about who you're dealing with, you know, for those cards to come out like that. The hermit car, somebody is definitely trying to watch you from afar and strategize so they can find out the perfect time to come in. Be very sneaky. You know what I'm saying? This is devil energy here. This is somebody who is a control freak. They may be on drugs or they may have some sort of addiction or something. I feel like this person is obsessed with you. They, you know, that's the reason why they watch you so hard. They're literally obsessed with you. What's going on in your life matters so much to them. 
They are going out of their way to make sure something doesn't work out for you or that you don't get the accolades or that you, if something you're at an event, you're happy, you're getting all this positive energy. They want to be the one in the room that's sort of gossiping in everybody ear. Yeah, you know, back in the day they did this, this happened, this happened. So be careful about who you invite to your, your functions or, you know, know who's on your guest list, you know, all of that plus one and all of that kind of stuff. Mm -mm. Make sure you know who is on your guest list, who, who you're, you know, surrounding yourself with. Some of you all may have an event where you only have like two or three people there and that's good. That's good enough. Because you don't need someone trying to, like I said, be a Debbie Downer. <laughs> all right. Awful parent. Somebody could have said that you were an awful parent. I also remember I said in the beginning, something could have happened in your childhood where you feel like you didn't get a lot of support, no matter how good you did in this life. I do feel like somebody made you feel like you, something was never good enough. So it's always like you could have seen other people. Maybe it was your siblings. It could have been um, cousins or something. You could have seen them do something very minute and get all of these accolades and support. But if you did something big, it was sort of downplayed. So I kind of feel like you learned that something about you was not important when it really was, it really is important. Okay. So, you know, release that kind of energy of thinking that if you invest into something, you should not be proud of yourself or you shouldn't be happy. Release that energy. That's someone who's pulling on your energy because they're not happy with themselves or possibly have happy with the decisions in their own life. Okay. And it says mess around and find out. So I do feel like someone is trying to get you in the energy for you to act out. They could be trying to do this publicly. Maybe they're saying that you are an awful person. They could be saying or awful parent or something, or you, your, they may even be saying something about your parents. Like, you know, some people are very protective of their parents. And so, um, they may even be saying your parents were awful and stuff stuff like that. So you may be telling this person like, you know, you keep pushing, you keep poking a bear. Like this is very unnecessary. Like if you're unhappy in your life, go seek help, but you will not bring my joy, my happiness, or my energy down. You've outgrown them. Yeah, this is someone who you've outgrown. That's all it is, Pisces. They're upset about you moving on and that you don't even want to be bothered. You know, maybe they want to be back in your energy and they know that they burned so many bridges with you or did so much dirt to you that they or said so many negative things about you that you just don't want to have anything to do with them. And so now you're having happy moments in your life since they can't really join you. They want to try to sabotage something on the back end, you know? So I feel like this is all coming because you've outgrown someone. You're not willing to be in that childlike petty behavior. I feel like you've smartened up these bad decisions you've made in your life have made you wiser. It has made you actually a better person. You have a better judge of character now. So you're not doing everything on an emotional basis. You're using logic. You know, and someone knows that they, that's this is the why this is the reason why they have to be sneaky because they feel like they cannot approach you and tell you lies. You can see it a mile away. You can tell they're lying about something. So they have to do it in a very sneaky, very controlling, you know, way. There's some they're sort of sitting back. Watching you, you know, from it's like they're obsessed with watching you, though. Like every, they want to know everything about your life. This is someone who just, I mean, gosh, I hope they don't have no high level job because damn, that's somebody who need to be in a therapist's office for real. I mean, something is mentally wrong there. You are so beautiful to me. So Pisces, I'm going to tell you something. You have people who really, really see that you're amazing. So this is what I'm saying. Pay attention to the circle, the people who you have in your circle, who root you on. They're truly happy for you. Those are the energies. They're not when, when you announce good news, they're not sort of second guessing, you know, whether they should support you or not. 
You know, they're happy, they're truly and sincerely happy to, for you. So I do feel like, again, you need to keep something to yourself, any sort of good events to yourself. This could be your own child saying you're an awful parent. People don't believe some people, some people, children are actually jealous of them. You know what I mean? They will do anything to try to ruin their parents' life. It's say anything. No lie is off the table. You know, and it's unfortunate because it's saying you are so beautiful. This person is jealous because you're getting compliments. This is where all of this is coming from. And because you've outgrown them, look, they pretend not to see you winning because they celebrated your hardships. What I tell you. So you're winning at something in life. This is someone who keep wanting to bring up the past, uh, bring up all these bad decisions that you made, or if you made some mistakes in your life, they want to keep bringing that up. They want to know who your circles are so they can try to, they're like a virus. When something is going amazing, they come around and start spreading negativity like a virus. They're like an infection, you know? My ex is attracted to you too. So this could even be someone who you used to be friends with and their ex is attracted to you and they're upset about that. But that's not your fault. That's not your problem. You know, so maybe they're saying you were an awful parent, but the true meaning of it is, is the true reason for their gossip about you is you've outgrown them and somebody who they are, they were dealing with is attracted to you. What are you going to do with all this information? Someone knows that you know what they've been up to. They know, can we be friends or more? I told you somebody is obsessed with you. Someone wants to know what you're going to do with all that information. Are you all this new information that you found out about their behavior, things like that? They're really kind of... That's why they're, that's one of the reasons why they're watching you so hard too, Pisces, because they know that you're onto them. They know that you're aware of their bad behavior, that they, that they sort of, sort of, they're obsessed with you, that they watch you behind the scenes. They want to know, are you going to tell people and sort of out them, you know, because they, I don't know what you're doing in your life, but I feel like if you expose these people, people are going to believe you. So they're worried about that. So their, their sort of messy behavior behind the scenes, they can do one or two things, keep behaving like an idiot or stop. You understand what I'm saying? If they stop it, you speak on it, it'll make it look like you're bringing up old stuff and it's, it's petty or something. But if they keep behaving a certain way, all they're doing is proving you right if you speak on it. That's it. Can we be friends or more? This person after behaving a certain way, this is someone who you outgrew and they were very jealous because their ex was attracted to you. Now they want to be friends or possibly more or something. I don't know. That may be somebody who's the same sex who's attracted to you too. Motive shall it be? Yeah. So something that you've been trying to manifest is coming out, is coming um you know, something positive that you've been trying to work on. So I feel like you should continue to focus on that. Don't focus on, you know, these people who behave a certain way. Of course, you know, make sure that you're aware of who you're dealing with, but keep those happy moments and celebrations to yourself. Because somebody is beyond messy. Show the world the real you. So whatever you're working on, work on it behind the scenes. Don't reveal anything too soon. Once you're finished working on it, then you reveal it to the world. Okay. And you can show the world the real you. But again, when you're when you're at celebrations and happy things are happening for you, make sure you know who is on your guest list. They're vetted out, you know. Don't just be inviting any and everybody. Or plus one. Your commitment is being tested. Yeah. So again, someone wants to, you know, kind of see, are you really true to something? Are you committed to this? I do feel like some of you all are going to make some sort of significant changes in your life. Um, and it's going to be a test. It's going to, this is, I don't really feel like you're being tested by 
people, I kind of feel like this is more of the universe testing you. Because again, I kind of remember I said maybe you felt like you wasn't being supported. So you kind of gave up on something. So I do feel like don't compare yourself to other people's, um, their like how fast they move up the ladder. Don't even, don't even, you know, you can celebrate their wins and be happy for them, but don't compare yourself to them. Okay. Cause I feel like someone is doing that to you already. So you know how that feel. So it's like your commitment is being tested by the universe. Cause I do feel like you're, you need to be committed to something. If you're reading a book, make sure you finish it. If you're writing a book, make sure you're finishing it. If you are learning another language, make sure you go all the way until the course is completed. Something like, so just make sure that you are committed to something. And when you make that choice to invest into it, you are investing into it long term. Okay. Don't let anything distract you. Nothing is yet set in stone, mutable sign. And so, yeah, this could be another mutable sign that is really sort of, you know, kind of watching you change and be adaptable and things like that. Um, they pretend they is something about you losing in the past and them seeing you winning now because it says they pretend not to see you winning because they celebrated your hardships so it's something about you changing you know with the times or something like that you know and this is about your growth this is about you going through growth spurts in life learning so much so nothing was set in stone you're a mutable sign you're supposed to go with the change you you can adapt to change very well right and so I just kind of feel like someone thought you would, they, they kind of wrote you off and they're shocked about how well you're doing for yourself. So you've outgrown them. They behaved a certain way because their ex was attracted to you. And they, that was some of, some of the underlining issues there, you know? So, um, they want to keep bringing up your past prosperity lies ahead, new moon and Taurus. So it does look like you will be having some sort of prosperous energy, something, um, you know, that's coming in your life or coming your way or something like that. Now this, I'm going to be honest with you. This could be one of your own, like your ex, you know what I mean? This may be an ex who's been watching you and you made bad decisions by even being with them. You know, it just looks like they kept you feeling trapped or, you know, kept you in some sort of state of confusion. And this is some, they may be, they may have money. You know what I mean? Maybe they have money or something like that. Um, so this may be an ex who you were dealing with that's really attracted to you that kind of made things hard for you in some way. Where is that other card? Okay, I was looking at something now. Sorry. So it does look like um but this may be someone who you, you are not who you used to be. So even if you all were to cross paths again, they're expecting for you to be one way when I feel like you've outgrown them now. You're not who you were when you all were together. You know, um, they didn't expect to see some sort of change with you. You know, maybe they are awful parent, but they made you out to be one. So, you know. What are you going to do with this new information? Yeah, I feel like someone is worried that you're quickly strategizing to use some information that you found out against them. It says bring love into the situation. Yeah, I kind of feel like I'm going to be honest with you. I kind of feel like somebody fears what you know about them, what they've done. So they're, they hope that you deal with something in a loving way and not a way where you're exposing them. Cause I kind of feel like you have the upper hand in a situation more than you realize Pisces. Look, can we be friends or more luck is on your side? New moon and Sagittarius. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is someone who really is upset. They want to be friends with you or more. Luck is on your side. It could be a Sagittarius that watches you. 
I kind of feel like they watch you, they watch you behind the scenes, but they're it's almost like obsessed with you. I keep getting that energy. I don't really like using that word because it sounds really bad, but I do feel like that. Be bold and make the first move. A cardinal sign. It says cardinal moon. So a cardinal sign may be significant. Cardinal sign is Libra, Capricorn, Aries, and Cancer. So, woo, Pisces, this is a pretty long reading. I didn't want it to be that long, but I am going to pull one more card from the spiritual deck just to see, um, you know what, two from two different decks because I kind of want to see what this is. What is that awful parent? What is that awful parent? What is that awful parent? I kind of, so let me explain something to you what that awful parent is too. Pisces, you may be the very good parent. Maybe you're the parent that's stuck in there. Maybe you're the parent that did all the sacrifices. Maybe you're the parent who just put in that effort, that extra effort, right? So you may have chosen a awful parent somebody who is just not good at parenting maybe they just abandon their kids or they don't take care of their kids or something you know but i kind of feel like you were dealing with somebody who tried to flip the script so they can justify their bad behavior towards their own child so maybe they said you're the awful parent even though it was obvious that they neglect their own child or abuse emotionally abuse their own child or something like that but i feel like this person see you in a new light um other people see how beautiful you are and maybe publicly they're saying that and it made this person see you the same way you were dealing with a damn bitter. <laughs> Somebody who's bitter is on a well. Okay, it says official person. The number 22 could be significant there. Some sort of official person. Maybe this person, they don't have to be military or um um law if lower base it doesn't have to be someone like that but i do feel like this person had some sort of high status that could be why you were dealing with them maybe they were very popular maybe they had some sort of high status in the community or something like that maybe a lot of people know them um maybe at one time a lot of people even respected them so that could be why you all started dealing, you know, with each other or something like that. There also may be an official person that find you very beautiful too. I'm looking at the way these cards are coming out. There may be someone who's either that has a military background or some sort of official person. They have some sort of a lot of respect in the community or something like that. That find you very beautiful. You are so beautiful to me. Is that real dramatic? <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Message. A message will be coming in. This person may contact you through either email, mail, phone, something like that. Um, I do feel like this is a, uh, you're going to get some sort of confirmation or you may be getting a message. Um, some of you all are passing, again, you're passing a test or maybe you're applying for something. And I feel like you're going to get good news either through an email or a mail or the mail or over the phone. Somebody may be calling you, giving you some good news about something, about you completing something. Or if you want something, it's available to you now. Nice. Nice. So this could be where this good news is coming from that you're not supposed to share. You know, maybe you're, you've applied for something and you just didn't think, I don't know, something is happening. I feel like you're going to get some good news, but you're not supposed to be selective about who you tell this good news to. If you're having an event, something that's supposed to be in your honor, you know, it's supposed to be, you know, you're make sure you only invite certain people and there are no plus ones. You need to know every name of the people who are showing up what their connections look like. You know what I mean? For real. You don't need nobody. And, and, and then that way, once the event is over, if they want to tell everybody about the event, wonderful. But you're able to enjoy yourself and the people who you invite are able to enjoy themselves without a bunch of... You know what I'm saying? Some negative nanny all in a crowd trying to bring down, down the morale of the good energy in the room. Okay. Something like that. 
It's time for you to be very selective about who you have beside you celebrating. Okay, let me see. Family room. Mm. Number 21 could be significant here. I don't know. Someone, this may be people in your own family or someone who you have like a family with. Maybe it was somebody who you were in a relationship with or married to, or maybe somebody you have children by or something like that. But it's like they're pretending not to see you winning because they really celebrated your hardships. And that is some tacky crap. If you got another parent celebrating you going through hard times and their child is suffering, Oh my God, that explains why you outgrew them. Because that is freaking disgusting behavior. Ew. I wouldn't even want to be in the vicinity of a parent who could celebrate another parent downfall and their child is suffering. That is so disgusting. Like this, like somebody was so angry with you. They didn't even care if their child was hurting. Like, ain't no way in the world I would want to be around somebody. That's what I'm saying. You've outgrown someone. You may have made the, a wrong decision in the past. Maybe you even had regrets about who you married or who you had a child by or something like that. Maybe you have, you may love the I don't know what out of your child or your children or, you know, things like that. But you just may wish that you had chose somebody else, a better parent. You may realize somebody was an awful parent. You know, and they even they didn't even give a damn about hurting their own child long as they could hurt you. But now people are, you know, speaking positively of you. This person may have been spreading a lot of negativity about your past or mistakes that you made in the past, hoping to turn people against you. But it's like now if that hasn't worked I look at it looks like this person is worried that you that you may reveal how dirty or grimy they really are or some information you have about them. They're worried about that. Are you going to expose them or something? Coffin, you've outgrown them. You put an end to this connection. You totally outgrew this person. You to, you totally outgrew them. It looks like you don't want to have anything to do with them. You put that relationship to rest. So there is no chance of it resurrecting. There is no chance. You've closed the door, locked it, threw away the damn key, threw it, you know, buried the damn thing somewhere. You don't even want to have any, you don't even remember where you buried it at. You don't want to have to go open it back up again. So toil and label you. A lot of hard work was left on you, Pisces. You went through a lot of stuff by yourself. That's messed up. I feel like this parent knew you were struggling and they sat back and watched you struggle. So this could be a parent that they act like that they didn't know where you lived or they didn't know anything to how to get in contact with you. But they were literally watching you the whole time struggle with their children or their child. They could have stepped up anytime and say, here, let me help. They didn't. They enjoyed seeing you struggle. They enjoyed seeing you in despair. And now they're worried about if you expose how they behave, they're going to be in that energy. Honey, let me tell you something. Karma, or don't play with nobody and don't waste this time. Everybody got to get what they put out. And this person put out a lot of mess to you. They knew it was hard for you to maybe you couldn't even really keep a job because you were trying to raise a child or children by yourself. That is. And they sat back and watched the whole thing, pretending not. Oh, I don't know where you live or I don't know this. I don't know that. They knew everything. They were literally sitting back watching you the whole time, enjoying seeing you struggle. Could have offered you a ride. Never did it. Could have offered their own child a ride. Never did it. Just trifling. Maybe your car broke down. They ain't give a crap. Mm, mm, mm. Sudden wealth. You're coming into some level of sudden wealth. This could be sudden knowledge. It could be from book writing. It could be from um, a grant. It could be from maybe you're getting, may, I don't know whether you're getting a lottery or maybe you're gambling or something and you're coming into something. This could even be an official person that's very wealthy that find you very beautiful or something. And they may be wanting to share some sort of wealth with you. This could be them wanting to invest into a business venture or something of your adjudication. Um, yeah, I feel like Pisces, you may have this. I feel like there's something about there's something someone owes you. And until they do right by you, I'm telling you, it's nothing is going to really 
ever truly work out in their life the right way. You understand what I'm saying? There's something legal that this person should have done. I don't know whether you tried to take them to court for child support and they never paid the child support. I don't know whether you could not find them to take them to court to court for child support. I don't know whether you chose not to take them, hoping they would just step up and do the right thing or something and they never did. But this person's owe you something. And it's le legally they should have been doing something that they were not doing. They were hoping to see you fail. So now that you're doing better, they, you know, it's like they can't really openly celebrate your wins because they, so they, it's like they rooted everyone on to bring you down or to sell it, to go against you. They didn't even care how it affected you all's children or your child or anything. Courtship, yeah, this person want to come back in your life but i feel like the relationship is dead and gone there's no chance of you rekindling anything with this person pathway you've had to find your pathway this person is going to act like you know they they mysteriously found their way back to you they always been watching you that fake talk you know, I ain't know where you was. I didn't know. Child, please. Occupation. So they even were watching you on your job. This person was even watching you on your job. Yeah, I said something about a child. You may have a child with this person. Oh, unexpected income. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. They may try to offer you something too. They may try to offer you some sort of money or something, but I feel like you're getting something anyway. I feel like now that this person see other people investing into you, now they want to come back and invest into you. But they're worried about you revealing something about them that you know. Mm -hmm. Are you going to reveal it to the world? They're really worried about that. I don't know what it is, what they did, but now they want to be a friend. Great fortune. Look at this. You got a lot of prosperity coming towards you. It's it's almost as if you don't even know it's coming. So if you get some good news about something, keep it to yourself. But I feel like now this person wants to give to you now that you really don't need them, then now they want to give to you. Courthouse, the courts may even be involved. The courts may wind up getting involved, making this person give something up <clears throat> or do something that they should have been doing. I feel like even if your child is 18 or over 18, they're still going to make this person do something. They may have to pay back child support or something. All them years that you were sitting up there taking care of that child or them children by yourself, they may have to pay back that. That could be the very thing that they don't want you to speak on that, you know, how bad you were doing and how many years you had to go through doing things by yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like raising kids by yourself or something like that. Um, they because it puts them in a horrible light. It makes them look like an awful parent. Something is changing in your life, but it has something to do with either like relocation or um, you learning something or completing something new again or something like that. Journey, yeah. Mm -hmm. I told you this person, they've seen your train come in. They've seen blessings like your, fin your blessings are finally coming in. I feel like this person was in a relationship with someone. They were in some sort of relationship with someone. They could have been speaking very negatively about you while they were in that relationship. But who in the hell cares? I feel like they were trying to justify being a deadbeat parent. Message of concern. Mm. Expectations, yeah. So I do feel like your expectations for yourself are very high. I do feel like someone is ex have high expectations of you. You do have some sort of windfall or change of finances coming your way. This may benefit you and your child or your children in some way. I do feel like someone from your past does want to come back, but they are worried that you're going to expose them, you know, for being who they are. I feel like they need to let sleeping dogs lie. Do not poke the bear because you probably probably had so much dirt on this person that you have been holding back that you could reveal and you just chose not to you know you just chose to focus on improving yourself in some way so they want to know what you're going to do with some information that you have about them you know what i'm saying like you may be letting this person dig their own hole too 
I ain't trying to be funny. Like something that they, they've been so busy trying to send negative energy your way. I feel like this person, if you do have a um, social media platform, they do watch you on there, but they may have a totally different name where you don't even know it's them leaving like really negative comments or negative messages. You know what I'm saying? So, all right, hoping to mess up the morale. That's why I said any event that you have, make sure you know who is on your guest list. All of that plus one and people bringing somebody who you don't even know. Mm -mm. Nope. All right, that's the end of your reading, Pisces. Go out here, live your best life. Don't let anything shake your confidence. Be who you're supposed to be in this life. You can't change anything that happened in the past. You are you don't even live in the past. You understand what I'm saying? You're living right now in the present moment. So stand on, stand on that. Stand on the accomplishments that you are having right now in this life and move in the direction that you want to move in. You know, whatever that is that you want to accomplish. If it's writing a book, if it's having a baby, if it's getting married, if it's purchasing a new home, if it's relocating, if it's traveling the world, if it's knowing more about your, if you live in the United States, you want to know more about other cities, states, towns, whatever, do whatever it is, put your plan in place and work your plan, but make sure you keep the right kind of people around you. Those people who can't even clap when good things happen in your life and celebrate you, keep them at a distance because somebody was really rooting for you to fail and do bad and stuff like that and spreading rumors trying to keep you in a negative energy and i feel like now they want to come back because they see other people singing your praises or celebrating you so they want to be all up in the mix again so i feel like you need to be cautious and aware of that okay i'm sending you all love and light again hit that like share and subscribe button to show my channel some love i'm sending love right back to you and i will talk with you amazing people later